It's Classic FM 94.3 Abuja, the station that plays every song you know. My name is Matilda Duncan, and I've got the hottest, by the way, uh, <laughs> the mixologist, if I may. <laughs> uh, let me say the uh, buffest, sexiest, all that and more, Kid Wire in the building. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, How Abuja? are you doing? I'm doing great, thank you very much. You look all right. Not bad. You look quite hot, actually. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> <laughs> I would say, um, when you, I remember first for me when you walked into the house, I was like, why is this boy all hot anyhow? Well, yeah, you do actually look way hotter in person, I would say. Do you know what? I always felt the TV did me no justice. Really? I won't lie. I always, yeah, because there's some videos I see. Yeah. I'm like, Man, that's not the right video. And then there's some pictures that they yeah. used yeah. that I just hated. <laughs> like, you know, there was a time when... Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's Natundo, I can't pronounce the name right, but right. The, the guys who supplied all the meat for us. Right. So they bought these like um these little popcorn yeah. uh, boxes, right? Right. And everyone's picture was like was yeah, on it and more yours like, was picture bit, yeah. looks good. I saw my man, my <laughs> one cheek was bigger than the other. I felt like one eye was dropping or something. Angle. I was like, come on guys, like oh. after all the pics we took that day. Right. So right. It's all good. I hear you. But you're out now. I'm How do you feel? Now. Honestly, I feel blessed, man. I, yeah. I mean, um, I'm still sort of um, letting everything soak in because mm-hmm. um, things are happening very, very fast, like at Ryan. a quick mm-hmm. uh, pace. So I'm just trying to just um, settle down. Um, it's like that. a new life, isn't it? A little bit. A little bit, yeah. Um, yeah, it's a new life. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's a new life, but it's the same me. Ryan. Do you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I'm trying to catch up to the new life because mm-hmm. it's still the same me. Mm-hmm. Um, but again, I'm grateful. Yeah. Like, I really am grateful. I give thanks to... And my fans, these guys are amazing, man. They mm-hmm. really have my back. Yeah. And obviously, God as well. Because without Absolutely. God, this journey would not be possible. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you stand tall by having the identity with your surname. Really quickly. How do you feel now, after the house, being able to say, I'm Kid Wire, as to say, I'm Terry Wire's son? Does that make sense? Yes, of course. Yeah. Um, first of all, I'm very, very proud to be associated with my dad. Of course. I, like, I, I would I mean, be. I'm proud to be associated with your dad as well. He's such a G, man. <laughs> so, like, like, he's done a lot of things um, for this country and for... Yeah. for uh, for his people, mm-hmm. so I'm um, to just to be put in the same okay. category as here makes me happy. But of course, as a man, when you when you're recognised for your own things, right. you know you that you know that that's like the respect. So of course, mm-hmm. um, that makes me feel good. Right. Um, I still feel like I've got a long way to go to mm-hmm. even come ha- half as close to his level. Um, but I'm just trying to take things in my own stride, um, follow the process, and of course, the rest is up to God and. We'll see how things go. But yeah, I'm very happy. Absolutely. Now, I'm a little claustrophobic. I'm, I feel tight when it comes to places that, you know, I can't move and I know there's no escape route. Tell me mentally what was going on in your head for those weeks in the house, having been just going through the outdoors, the you know, the kitchen, the areas. How was it for you? Because I felt like at some point you were like, ah, I'm done. I want to get out of here. Yeah, okay. So I'll start with the the first bit of how yeah. I felt um, I enjoyed it like I said I've been going boarding school most of my life right. I said that so for me I'm used to being in a house mm-hmm. full of different people mm-hmm. <clears throat> I've, been, I've been used to that my whole life so okay. for me it was actually very easy just to um, fit blend in, in. I'm right. a people's person mm-hmm. do you understand I know how to relate to people mm-hmm. I understand people right. I have no issues with people and mm-hmm. that's why in a house I didn't have right. any arguments so for me mm-hmm. it was actually um, very very simple to fit in mm-hmm. of course after a while I got bored mainly yeah. because I couldn't go to the gym properly I felt like you complained about that a lot actually. yeah I felt and, like because mm-hmm. I, I asked Biggie as well quite, quite a lot of times he so he me some equipment. It, right and he didn't and he didn't man and one time I said to him <laughs> ah, Biggie why you fold my hand now he goes he's wired so you don't trust Biggie I said Biggie let me so I don't that one I just said you know yeah. so I was expecting okay that next day or something he will it would come through you know, but don't worry when I meet Biggie for streets we go yeah now what I ah, hear you <laughs> but you tell you what I asked you what next after race. So you did say you're going to give a couple of uh, months if I may in, like in the gym to get it all back because mm-hmm. that was your brand have yeah, you started yeah. already I haven't started the gym yet but I've, yeah. I've started my dieting yeah. So my food, my, what I've been eating now has been a lot better than before. Mm-hmm. Um, so I do feel myself uh, mm-hmm. getting in shape a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, but because mm-hmm. well, you know, I've been, I'm only in about Abuja for like not too long before right. I have to go back to Lagos. Okay. So for me, so when you're I'm be based in Lagos, no, 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 I'm going to be based. I'm going to be based in Abuja, as my okay. city. Okay. Um, but I have to do some stiff things in Lagos. Right. So I'll be coming while. back and forth. Okay. But for me, when I want to gym properly, I need to be based in Abuja at least for a couple of weeks to sort of get me in that, mm-hmm. you know, that momentum. So mm-hmm. when I come back, I'll yeah. probably do it properly. But for now, I'll just focus on dieting, which is obviously kind of the most important part. Yeah. I like I mean? to I like to ask questions for moving forward. So I'm going to find out what exactly you're going to do next. Yeah. But when you did come out of the house, I remember Ibuka asking you to watch the screens to find out who actually voted you. Yeah. And you were in shock when you saw Tricky T actually nominated you, you mm, know. Mm. And um, for me, I, I wanted to ask you that. Did you... <clears throat> 
Have you? Do you feel a different experience living with a bunch of Nigerians more now? I say this because I know you're from England, right? You right. lived in England <clears throat> right, yeah. for the better half. So knowing, you know, everyone's, you know, temperament, everyone's attitude, who's stabbing who, who's doing what to who. In as much as I know, when the fights happen, you always kept quiet, which is like the most mature thing to do, actually, because everybody else was in it, and you just, you know, kind of went quiet like that. So would you say it helped knowing more about Niger people? Do you get what I mean? Um... I mean, I, I, yeah, I grew up in, in mm -hmm. the UK, but I always came back to Nigeria, yeah. back and forth um, yeah. from 2010. Early in December. Yeah, yeah, well, way. December, <laughs> I started December, man. Right. You know, you know, but like, yeah. you know, obviously, I, at the time, I had Nigerian friends in the UK. There's a lot of Nigerians in the UK. Mm -hmm. So just because I left the country doesn't mean I left my culture. Right. Do you understand? So I see what you mean. There's, there's, there's restaurants, there's bars, there's clubs, there's your people. Mm -hmm. So I always had that Niger vibe all around me mm -hmm. so I completely understand them I mean I'm Nigerian no matter mm -hmm. uh, no matter how long you're away from your country if you're from right. that country you just understand it so yeah. going into that house I and it's just, you know it's not about where you're from it's just about understanding people in general I yeah. and I understand people very well yeah. so for me going into that house give them the basic respect so you mm -hmm. have to respect every single body okay. and know what's worth Arguing about a lot yeah. of things in the house was not worth arguing about yeah. because to do with food or to do with exactly all these little what would little you have things. done differently though from that day one, you walked into that house. Um, first of all, I, I yeah. personally, I wouldn't do anything differently because I, I, I literally was myself. Okay, do you understand. But the only thing I probably would have changed is my discipline for my eating habits. <laughs> yeah. At the time, I was just like eating whatever cocoa pops, right. bread and egg every day, <laughs> munch it. <laughs> right, that's free endorsement right down. Shout your names know, out. Right. You got a block. But you know what I mean. That's what I was doing. I was just yeah. eating anything. So yeah, I'll probably just change that. It would have been different. Yeah. All right. All right. Now it would be. It would be absolutely. It, it would it wouldn't even be right if I didn't call Erica's name. Right. You know I have to. <clears throat> okay. I mean this is it because I mean it was a thing. You both were a thing. Uh, but we're not going to talk about what happened in the house. Leave all that alone. We're going to talk about what happened in the past couple of days actually. Because mm. I remember um, an interview you had with our sister station in Lagos where you did say that um, if you're going to pick a winner, it would be Lake Horn. You would be looking at now if you're going to choose one right from the last standing. Was that still standing with you, by the way? I think I, I've been asked this. I think every day yeah. after that, and I've just said I, I personally <clears throat> yeah because i know how hard the right. teams are working behind mm -hmm. you know to, to get the candidates to win mm -hmm. so i feel like when i say something it's going to influence yeah. something so i rather just not say may the best man or woman win win and good luck to them and whoever wins deserves to win okay so i remember that night that happened the fight happened right right i was i mean i think i watched it from when you were speaking to nengi at the party and when erica got upset and all of that going on um today I know, I remember how you were trying to calm down the situation. You were trying to calm down, take it easy. Um, what would you have done differently again today after what happened only a couple of days ago on Twitter? Do you know what I mean? What would I have done differently in that situation? Yeah. <clears throat> I have to be in that situation again. <laughs> to know, right? To know. Oh, wow. You know, I think for me, man, because yeah. I think she's moved on to a better place. She's trying to forget that. Yeah. Um, that moment. So I feel like the more I talk about it, the more it just resurfaces and yeah. gets back to her. So I, I, I kind of want to just leave that because he's just trying to move on so mm -hmm. for me, that's just where I stand on that whole yeah uh, situation okay well no I wish I could pick a brain more but no so moving on what next with you oh uh, there's a lot of things I'll yeah. be honest with you I will have I think I will have some news hopefully Two. next week mm -hmm. Um, couple of major stuff next week but mm -hmm. there's just so much on the table I mean I've had a lot of offers for different things for cooking oh nice for presenting for movies yeah, you do you do make some mad stir fry by the way I love yeah the that. best man like, yeah, I, I know I, I watched you do that yeah and the, they, were, they were very surprised like yeah. I think one time V said <laughs> when I made stew V was like yeah. ah kid kid this is just the way I like my stew at exactly. home ah kid kid it's sweet. and I, I made J rice right and then yeah. everyone was eating licking their fingers and you know me like, I'm the kind of guy and I'll give you an example when we did the first barbecue yeah right yeah. That day, I didn't actually eat at all. Right. Because right, for right. me, I get so much joy when I feed people uh -huh. and they're enjoying it. So that day, I forgot to eat. <laughs> so I right. love, I love when people love my food, man. Yeah. It literally fills my belly. That's like my yeah. food. Yeah. But like I said, man, honestly, there's a lot of things. Mm -hmm. I don't want to talk too much about what I'm doing specifically because okay. I kind of want to just um, put it out when it's out. Right. But trust me, you'll be seeing a lot of me. And for now, we'll be providing you guys with great content. We'll love keeping it. you entertained. We see you. But there's a lot of stuff coming. Hot stuff. You look like Jesus, by the way. If you've ever Black, any. <laughs> Black Jesus. I mean, Black I'm Jesus. all for that. Yeah, I all, see you with that. I'm all for that. Now, really quickly, we have no time left, so you're going to scoot on over to Beat FM really quickly. Um, we're going to play a game real quick. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. So I say one word, and whatever comes to your mind comes out. Right. So quickly, it's possible. <laughs> Don't think about it. Just mm -hmm. let it go. Are you ready? Now, it's pretty easy because you're going to do the same to me. So think about anything at all and whatever comes to my mind. Five, ten words. Are we good? Should we start? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Um, cocktails. 
Um, um I, we, we're whiskey sour. <laughs> whiskey sour. Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, you lost me. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> you lost water. Let's go with water. Uh, cold. Cold. Biggie. Smalls. Smalls. Nice. I like that. Um, cuppy. Lover. Lover. <laughs> Your turn. Let's hear you go. Life. Radio. I know, right? I'm sorry. Uh, this is 20 years. It, so I'm like <laughs> emotions. Um, Tears. Future. Radio. Process. Process. Fe- really? Yeah, the process towards that future. Oh my goodness. Prayer. <laughs> Religion. And that's a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. Good luck to you. Thank um, you. We're out here anytime you want ec- anything extra. You know who to call. Of course. What's my name? I don't think you introduced me. Oh, name, my God. Wait. Sorry, what's you my didn't tell my name, right? What's my name? Think. Ah, put me on the spot. Starts with them. Somebody whispering to you right there. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say Matilda for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> Wait, it's Matilda? Yes. Oh, my. Just look at you. <laughs> Is it really? really? Oh, you know, that's. I hear you. Well, congratulations. Thank you so much. Well done. Thank Thank you. you. Thank Thank you for making everyone feel proud. And thank you you for the way you look, by the way. You look very well. Thank you. I appreciate it. Muscles, all that going on. Yeah, (laughs) I love. Thank you so much. All right, we just had literally Kid Wire up in the building right here. Just one more thing very quickly to your fans. Uh, Just wrap it up. Tell them a little something and just make them feel at least, you know, thank God for voting for you, whatever it is. Um, My fans now, I'm going on a spiritual journey. Mm -hmm. I feel like they've been on that journey with me. If you follow my Twitter... um, you just sort of know how I feel and how I tweet some certain mm. things. My my fans have had my back literally since day one. I can't mm-hmm. thank them enough, but mm. you know we've got we've got something that we're working on that hopefully we can give back not just to them, to the country and hopefully the continent in the, in, in the future, but to the YLM gang. I love you guys. Keep supporting me. Keep doing your thing, man. And we're in this together, one family, one love.